Hey what's up everyone, it's Justin here and today I've got the review for you of the Roku 3 Media Streamer. Of course there is competition out there including the Apple TV and the Amazon Fire TV, but the Roku line definitely seems to offer a very nice all-round experience in terms of choice of channels. It features over 1800 channels in the US, over 200,000 movies and TV episodes, and you have the choice between music, news, sports, and more, and you can even play games on this system. Some examples include the more well-known platforms such as Netflix, MLS for Soccer, NHL Network, Vimeo, YouTube, Vivo, stuff like that. And there are a lot of smaller channels as well and all these subscription based platforms you will be able to find on here. So taking a look at the packaging, you can see that there is mobile streaming to TV capability and that is done through the Roku app. And on the Roku 3, you have a new and improved five times faster processor, dual band wireless and motion sensing technology for gaming, which for those who don't know, made the remote kind of similar to what reminded me of a Wii remote. And it actually made it for a very nice experience in certain games. Roku has also included quite a few things in the packaging as well. You've got the streaming player of course, as well as a remote control that even has a headphone jack built in, so that makes it very handy for listening. A pair of headphones, which is also great that they have included, two AA batteries for the remote, a power adapter, a get started guide, and also free full Angry Birds space game. So just opening up the box and giving you guys a quick look at that. You can see the packaging is very nicely presented as well. So first let's take a look at the hardware and the Roku 3 comes in at a very small form factor. It's just 3.5 by 3.5 by 1 inches in size so it is a nice little cube shape and it weighs in at just 5 ounces. The design itself is relatively simplistic but I do wish that it was made out of a matte material instead of the glossy plastic which as you know attracts fingerprints, dust and scratches very easily. And on the back you will find your HDMI port, a micro SD card slot for expandability, an ethernet port, as well as the DC power in and the reset button. And located to the right of that is a USB port. So Roku has definitely packed in everything you need in this small form factor. And when compared to the size of the Apple TV, you can see that it is a little bit smaller than that unit. So it makes it very easy for you to just stow it away in your TV or home theater setup without taking up too much space at all. The remote itself also packs quite a few features. Like I said, it does remind me a lot about the Wii remote. When I was using the motion tracking gestures, it actually worked very, very well and it is very responsive. You have buttons to control the volume from the side, play pause, a star, okay, a little bit of a joystick looking thing which you also use for gaming, a home button and a back button. You'll also find an A and B button located on the bottom. And this is used for certain games where you could turn the controller sideways and use that. Like I mentioned, there is also a headphone jack built in as well. So now it's time to take a look at the interface itself. So the setup process was very easy and after you got through that, a lot of it was done through the application. And after you have set up your account, payment information, etc., you're good to go on your Roku Media Streamer. The interface itself is very simplistic and it is what you would expect. You have the movies, the TV shows, and just your general channels. There's also a channel store and your settings and that is pretty much it for the main menu. You also have the option to change up the theme as well. And as you look at the menu, you can see that it it is presented in a very visual appealing way. Everything is categorized so you're able to find what you're looking for, whether it is technology, health, business, travel, sports, and the search system built into the Roku 3 is also very useful as well. You could search the movie, TV, or even the actor and it will find movies and TV shows according to your search. The great thing about the Roku 3 is it not only allows you to use the basic streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu Plus, um, Crackle, MLB, NBA, or NHL networks. It also lets you stream from Amazon Instant Video as well. And that's why I would say the Roku 3 is probably the best all-round streaming box out there. The options that it gives you in terms of the channel, streaming services, movies, and TV rentals from all different places can ensure you that you're going to find what you're hoping to watch. And at the price of $99, it is definitely a no-brainer out there for people who have home theater setups or TV systems, as it is a great option for consuming media. And being the first Roku system I've ever tested out, I have to say I was pretty impressed by the amount of options it gave you, whether it was the channels, the movies, or TV shows. And I'd like to give a big thanks to Roku for sending us out for reviewing purposes. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if it did, be sure to hit that like button as it helps this channel out a bunch. And as always, the pricing and availability will be down in the description 
description section as I have seen this thing go on sale quite a few times lately so be sure to check the links in the description for the latest price and I'll see you all in the next video.